As an assistant professor in social work, I feel strongly that increasing emphasis on the biological sciences generally and neuroscience specifically is potentially a critical component of social work training. In fact, social workers are expected to use the biopsychosocial model of development when they're assessing particular life stages with their clients and communities and also throughout the life course. And yet, historically, the biological component of that model has taken a back seat to students' focus in curriculum and professional development opportunities on understanding the psychological and the social components of development. But really, all of those components are integrated together. The biological, the social, and the psychological really speak to one another. And therefore, when I teach courses, I really try to have an emphasis on that, that biology is not a separate silo, but instead should be considered and taken into account when we're thinking about individuals' and communities' lives. In fact, matters that social workers deal with on a daily basis in their professional lives, um, such as focusing on attachment, on trauma, all of these have very important biological perspectives to consider, and yet opportunities for social workers to really integrate and come to a better understanding of these biological perspectives has been historically relatively limited when it comes to opportunities, for example, in the curriculum that students experience in graduate school, continuing education opportunities, even academic conferences which is why I feel incredibly fortunate to be here at Boston College in the Graduate School of Social Work, which really is at the forefront of increasing efforts, resources, and research focused on integrating those important biological perspectives in our curriculum and groups for students. Mm -hmm.